don't know how much time I have. That's it. It's about over. About that. Twelve minutes. Twelve more minutes. Twelve more minutes. Aha. How many? Twelve. Twelve more minutes. Oh, you are very uh, exact. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so we have this small, uh, this large local dimension. And this can also be seen in the picture where this value of local dimension is the largest. We have the biggest uh, blue and darkest blue. Uh, Patterns. And there is a conjecture, let me not speak about the conjecture. When we come near to one half, we have a very regular pattern. We have this kind of self similar pattern. Uh, so here you have the so called Fibonacci sequence, uh, Fibonacci parameter, which is x to the 3 is equal to x squared plus x plus 1. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, and here you have the next with x to the 4 equal to x to the 3 plus x squared plus and here you have the next and so on. So you have uh, a number of p-zone numbers which are well known and which are also the accumulation points of p-zone numbers and we have other p-zone numbers, accumulation points of p-zone numbers here where we have these side maxima and um, these are all accumulation points of Pizzo numbers in this region. That's proved by the French school, Pizzo and other Stalin. Now, if we look at this uh, in another picture, I want to see now when I go in here into the overlap region, how this looks in the overlap region, and I make another picture now, a three dimensional picture, just to see. And we have some kind of two overlapping wave fronts which come into these. So one goes here. I don't know whether it is visible. Yeah. Here we have the one, and we have these kind of valleys, and we have another valley, valleys which come from here. And the valleys will meet, and also we have some peaks here. It's like mountains. Yeah. We have few peaks and many valleys. It's a, here is from the other side, perhaps this is better. Seen, yeah. So you can see we have these two crossing uh, curves, two families of crossing curves. And so the question is, uh, what will be in the inside in the overlap region? Uh, what can we see there? And so it turns out when we have certain uh, rational functions meeting each other here or there, then we have uh, points with two addresses. So uh, the top points with two addresses are easy to explain. They are so that it goes from here to here, and from here to here, and here we have something periodic. Maybe, for instance, it could be like that, the previous one. So we have a point here which goes to both sides to a point of unique address. And uh, one of these was found by Sidorf. And I have found another one where we have the, uh, the minimum just a zero at the central point, one half. One would think that in the middle you always have high values, but it's not true. There are even uncountably many parameters where we have zero density in the, just in the middle point, one can prove. It's very interesting. <laughs> what do you mean by address? What is it? What? Address, what is multiplicative address? Address is just the, uh, yeah, address is uh, when I write x as some ak t to the k, then ak is called the address, a1, a2, a. Oh. It's called address or, well, it's just the coefficients of the presentation. And you may have different uh, addresses, usually. But in some uh, rare cases, you may have one address, only one representation. And also, they should be uh, unimportant, because they have only one representation. So the measure is zero. There is it's nothing. <laughs> yeah, others have uncountably many representations. Uh, they are, well, see, these blue curves are all these with, which have only one address. Uh, one 
presentation in another system. And here inside, we must have always at least two addresses because already the first step is possible in two ways. We have two mappings going out from uh, the point of the uh, yellow triangle. Okay, well, there are some technical things. Uh, I don't want to go into technical details here. Uh, for instance, if one address have, has periodic itinerary, uh, periodic address, and the other one has pre-periodic, then you get a countable number of addresses. That's uh, also here, so you have a lot of points, some crossing points here, that you have countable number of addresses, and they are also very small, the density must also be zero there. But, but you can have more than countable. Also usually the most points have uncountable. Yeah. So uh, you see, uh, since you have uh, you have these two mappings, so here you have, uh, this is T, and this is also T, uh, usually uh, you map on 2T, yeah, which is larger than 1, yeah, uh, and uh, so this is in some way connected with the growth uh, also, uh, when you have a, yeah. you can also say that uh, the, the Lebesgue measure under this system is invariant with a factor of 2T. So you have uh, all, uh, you have, I think, g to the minus 1 of x. And you take lambda of g to the minus 1 of x. It's two times, uh, well, or say of an interval. Yeah, of an interval. And it is 2t times lambda of i. So this is easy to prove because it's, a, it's very simple. So it means in, in, in some way we have a de facto 2t is inside. And it means that it, we have a, a lot of branches in the average. But we don't know an ergodic theory for these kind of metrics. There's, uh, this is the problem. So and then we have points with many addresses. And these uh, points uh, come from the from periodic uh, rational functions, where periodic rational functions meet, and there we can find some new things, for instance here. Uh, here we have uh, some address functions. Uh, I extend the 3 over 7, which the 3 over 7 goes somewhere here, and uh, it comes in here. And uh, 4 over 9 is on the other side, it goes there. So these are the two blue lines extended into this uh, region. And we consider, from the other side, we consider some other rational functions which correspond to 8 over 15 and 16 over 31. Uh, so well, what would be 8 over 15? Uh, it's technical. It's, uh, but 8 over 15 would correspond to the is 0 0.100 bar and then if you can determine the rational function it is t nee, it's 1 minus t over t times t over 1 minus t to the 4 because that's the expression here for this and this cancels, so it's 1 minus t over 1 minus t to the 4. Of course, you can still cancel something. So you have the rational function there, and so you can extend it. And uh, when these meet, we have uh, piezo numbers. You can check here, you have piezo parameter here, you have piezo parameter here and here also. But now if we take some of higher uh, period, for instance this one, there are many, really many uh, things. Uh, I found a lot of them, but I just want to mention one. You don't get a piezo parameter there, but you get uh, measures which have not a bounded density. This is what one can say. So there are many parameters where no bounded density exists, and some of them have been found by Fang uh, from China, and uh, some have also a multifractal spectrum, and there is 
there's uh, some more technical issues to be considered. Okay, this is uh, the point. Now, I just want to mention some more experiments, because I think it is good in this case, the basic idea is to consider the whole family together, but also to have some motivation from the computer. And not only by calculation, but by making pictures by the computer. Yeah, the computer can do some geometry for us and can give us some inspiration or some hints how the things happen. And this is also here. And uh, you see, I want to magnify now these parts. And if you look at them, you see very strange thing. At some parameters, you have the structure will disappear. Yeah. Here you have these types. You see, they are blurred. They are, they are this. Yeah. The structure disappears. Yeah. And uh, this can be seen in many magnifications. Yeah. Uh, here you also see the stripes there. Here we have other stripes in the middle. Or here you see the stripes also in the magnification. Here we have these. It's a cursor, and they become more and more, and it seems they are dense. And this leads to the conjecture that the parameters, you see, where, where we have no structure, we should have a density here. And the conjecture would be that the points where you have a density, they are not only Lebesgue measure one, but they also are an open set. Yeah? And it's a very interesting conjecture. It's not proved yet, sorry for that. <laughs> But at least we have the hint from these experiments that it could be an open set. Yeah, and we can go on with experiments, but also, of course, with mathematics. Thank you very much. Yeah. Who was his uh, PG advisor? 